Here today we're going to be demonstrating how to tie crab bodies or tarpon toad bodies with EP fibers. First thing you're going to do is you're going to lay down a, a thread base and you'll tie on your tail, your eyes, and uh, you'll basically tie the, the back end of the fly and get it ready. Then you'll prepare a nice smooth thread base here. So we'll just pretend that I've already tied a few materials on. And now I'm ready for my, my body. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a strip of EP fiber here. And you have to be very careful how much you use. Uh, I'd say there's probably 40, 50 fibers uh, here. When I stretch it, it's probably only twice the diameter of the uh, hook itself. Uh, when I let go, it's probably half the diameter of a pencil or so. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to prepare your EP fibers. You're going to cut it into little sections. Uh, I like to use sections that are about two and a half, three inches in, in width. And what we're going to do is we're going to lay that EP fiber kind of crossways on our, on our hook here, as you can see. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a wrap over the top of that EP fiber. I'll take another wrap. I'll take two wraps. So you can see I'm kind of crossways here on the EP fiber. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that material and I'm going to kind of twist it and I'm going to make basically an X wrap the opposite way that I made those the, the first two wraps. So basically what I've got here is little X right there on the EP fiber. Now you want to make sure to really bite down with your thread, really pull on it at this point. I use 140 denier thread which is you know medium thickness and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a wrap and I'm going to wrap it right in front of that uh, EP fiber. I'm going to take two or three wraps that are very very tight. So you've got one little section of your body already built there. So what you're going to do is you're going to repeat this process with another thing of EP fibers here. Now this is uh, the part where you got to be very careful because if I just uh, put this on top of the shank of the hook here and start wrapping, uh, I'll lose basically my place uh, in the in the body. So what I have to do is I have to hold on to this EP fiber as I make those first couple of wraps. And if they're a little too far forward, you have a gap, you can just take it and push it back with your fingers. And I'm still holding on to this EP fiber and I want to keep holding on to that because if I didn't, if I let go, it would just blend into this next uh, section back here. It would just blend right in and I wouldn't be able to make my wrap. So what I do is I take my thread up as I'm holding this EP fiber and I briefly let go of the EP fiber and then grab it again once I've uh, crossed that EP fiber. And you can see I'm still holding on to it. I'll do it again. I'll put the thread around it and then grab it again. And then what you can do is you can pull the material back here real real forcefully, real aggressively with your hand. And then I'm going to take another couple of wraps here right in front of it as I'm pulling back. And what that does is it puts the two sections very, very close to each other. And that's exactly what I want. And we'll do this once more here just to kind of show you. Maybe I'll zoom out a little here. Give you a better better angle. So what I do is I just take the EP fiber, lay it down on the shank here, do my first two wraps. Now I'm still holding on to that fiber and what I do is I just take the thread and go around it and then grab it again. And then do the same thing. And then really bite down with it, pull them back, lay down some nice tight wraps. You can see there we have three nice little sections. Then of course what you'll do is you'll keep uh, repeating that process. Uh, on this fly it would probably take another four or five times to finish it. And uh, you, what you always want to do as well is once you're done is you'll want to glue the body of the of the fly. Of course you'll glue on the underside here where your thread's exposed. Now when you trim this, how I like to trim it, rather than just trim one side and then trim the other over here, what I'll do is I'll either draw the material up or down and I'll draw both sides together. 
and I'll cut and uh, you can cut it at an angle you can cut flat it depends on the body that you want if you want a very uniform body that's the same uh, width up here as it is back here you'll just cut basically flat if you want it to taper from thin and then get thicker as you go back you'll basically cut at an angle so I'll just cut at an upwards angle just like so and what you'll get is basically a crab body that's tapered uh, a little thinner at the front a little wider at the back so that's how to uh, tie toad bodies and crab bodies with EP fibers uh, pretty quickly and easily um, we call it kind of stacking them uh, and uh, you can buy EP fibers and all the materials at in the riffle.com